Hey guys, welcome back for another video. And in this one, we are going over one of the topics I get asked about the most frequently, how to do niche research for print on demand or Amazon. So if you guys are totally new to my channel, my name's Ben and for the last five years or so, I've been building e-commerce businesses and helping other people do the same, primarily on Amazon, but also on other platforms like Etsy, Shopify, etc. So in this video, we're going over the exact method that I use for doing niche research for Merch by Amazon and print on demand. I'm gonna show you guys my mindset, the tools I use and just how to get started and complete this entire process. So first we're gonna talk about the mindset, then we're gonna hop into the computer screen. So as far as the mindset, let's say you guys are starting, you have no idea what niche to look at, you don't know how to approach this. Well, it's, it's actually not that hard, so don't get overwhelmed. First, we need to find ideas, and we're gonna rely on a lot of software to actually jumpstart this process. And I recommend to you guys, if you're doing this while watching this video or you know after this video, whatever it may be, keep a Word document or an Excel or Google Sheet open. That's gonna help you make note of interesting niches, and that way you can kind of do the research, part one, and just write all of them down, and then move on to actually validating that niche a little bit more. So once we've actually found a few of these interesting niches, that's where we're gonna go and do a deeper dive. So we're gonna look at other tools that help us validate if there's actually demand, and we can also do this on Amazon by looking to see if reviews are coming through on products in a niche, if there's best sellers rank. So these things are indicating that there's people actually exchanging the money for the product, they're buying these products. And that means that there's actually a demand in this space. Then we're gonna decide, okay, can we compete in this space? So are the designs that are showing right now, are they all amazing? Because that might be something we wanna stay away from. But if we see that, okay, half the designs are all right, the other half are subpar, just okay. Well, then there's opportunity for us to come in and actually take over this space. And then finally, we are gonna look for ideas to actually jumpstart our design process. Now we're not gonna go into that portion a ton in this video, but I will show you guys a few places to kind of get started with it. So if you guys are interested in any of this stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to talk about a lot more print on demand and merch by Amazon in the new year. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this video and get started. I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, so here we are in the computer screen. And as I said in the intro to this video, the first step is actually finding these niches that look or niches that look a little bit interesting to us. So this is for if you don't have any idea where to start or maybe you guys are stuck or you've used your ideas up or you just wanna see what's going on in the market, this is the first step in this process. Now, I like to start on Merch Informer, which I'm guessing if you watch this or watching this video, you probably already know Merch Informer, but if you don't, links to everything in the description, you can create a free account or a paid one and get started. And as I mentioned guys in the, the beginning of this, I'm doing this alongside, so I'm actually have my own Word document open here and I'm gonna take notes of a couple interesting niches we find while doing this process. So once that's all set up, you're ready to go. We're in Merch Informer. I normally like to start on the left-hand side in this module that says Trend Hunter and then Movers and Shakers. Now I'm already have that pulled up right now. And what this is displaying are the products that had a drop in best sellers rank. Now remember with best sellers rank, the closer to one, the better it is. So we want lower numbers. Anything that has a BSR uh, does have sales on it, which is good. So we're looking to make sure there are sales and then just find shirts that maybe are trending so we can kind of catch on to these trends or see what other people are doing. Um, so right now I'm filtered by weekly. You can also filter the different products and the marketplace and get some high level info up here. But what I'm doing is just kind of going through and looking at things that might catch my interest. So we see a 2020 shirt, maybe a witch shirt, cancer. So like this one's interesting, Croatian, and I'm not going to try to pronounce this, but um, you know, maybe this is a, a, a way of saying toast or cheers or something like that. Um, so that could be something I want to look at. Like here's an interesting one. So I'm going to make a note of this one. So stunts, uh, stunt man. Now we could also think about this as broken bones or something like that. And we can see the title and the merchant down here as well. And it even tells us, you know, they're doing about one sale a month. So nothing crazy here, but maybe this niche is, uh, has some opportunity in it for us. So I'm gonna make a note of that. I'm just gonna put down stunt man, stunt woman, and then I'm also gonna put broken bones. And we're gonna to touch on this a little bit later, but one of the big keys here, one of the tricks that I do is I look for shirts or places where I can cross two different passion niches. So right here, we could we can look at this and say, okay, this is both a stunt shirt uh, and it's also kind of touching on broken bones, maybe broken bone recovery or something like that. So if we can, in our listing, you know, we have a design for both of those. And in our listing, we can use keywords related to both. We can get people that are shopping for either broken bones or for stunts or something like that. So we're gonna find a few more examples then we'll move on. Uh, now what you guys, I also wanna point out is there's lots of shirts where it's just text like this and they're still getting sales. So, um, you know, you can create basic stuff, but so this is an interesting one. It says French onion dip and something I definitely never would have thought of. And that's kind of the purpose of this is we're trying to figure out things that we wouldn't have thought of. So I'm gonna make a note, French onion dip, 
probably not a lot of demand in that space, but it might be worth looking at. Maybe there is, and maybe there's not a lot of competition. So um, we'll, we'll check on that in a little bit. Here's another example of crossing two niches. So coffee and daughters or for mothers maybe, um, something like that. So that is cool. And let's find a few others here. All right. Uh, never too old to jump, really simple design. And this is a skydiving shirt, so I'm gonna make a note of that. Let's just look at skydiving. All right, now we are gonna go to monthly, so let's just check monthly as well. We're gonna find maybe one more example and then we'll move on to the next step. Um, okay, so let's just do something that maybe is more saturated. So soccer coach, let's go ahead and make a note of that. All right, so we have a good starting point. So we have stuntman, stuntwoman, broken bones, French onion dip, skydiving, soccer coach. So we're gonna go on to the next step. So next what I like to do is go to merch hunter up here. And this is, I'm just gonna do a little bit more validation before I move on to Amazon. And let's go ahead and we're gonna put in one that, um, you know, I'm not really sure about. Uh, so we can apply all kinds of filters here. I'm actually gonna move the best sellers rank up to about 2 million. And we're just kind of looking at what the designs look like. Are there sales? Uh, are there a lot of designs coming up? We can see the uh, some high level data here. We can also see uh, keyword counts for these. So this is saying total results is 22. So it might be they're just not finding more than that, but um, there's some cool designs in this space. And we can see that they are selling, you know, one unit a month. So not crazy, but there is sales volume on these. So we know that people are looking for this shirt and they are purchasing it. All right, cool. So let's look at one more here and then we'll move on to the next step. Let's check out skydiving. And we'll see just what comes up. All right, so we see this one. Again, we see sales, we see designs. You know, if you guys are going through this and taking your time, you can also start to kind of look at and make notes of the designs, get some ideas for what you wanna do for designs or phrases or whatever. Obviously, caveat, always, I'll put it back out there, don't copy anyone. You need to be unique with these, but it's just to kind of give you some inspiration uh, going forward. So here's an interesting one, coffee, cats, and skydiving. They're crossing all three of those niches. So that's just another good example here. And that one, let's see if it's getting sales. It's getting maybe like one sale a month, it looks like. All right, the next and final step in Merch Informer is I like to go to Competition Checker. And you guys can see here, so right now this search is pulling up for dogs. So there, this is a very broad, very competitive niche. 33,000 products, 30,000 with sales history, and it's giving us this score F. Now one also cool thing here is we get keywords related to this, which will help you know down the road either with building our listings or doing additional research. But let's look at two of our other ones. So let's look at um, Stuntman, and we'll just see what comes up. It does take a little bit of time, so sometimes we just need to be a little patient with these uh, as they pull up here. So we're gonna wait for a second. And what I'm doing in this process is just seeing what the score merch informer gives us, uh, trying to get an idea of how many products there are and then how many have uh, sales. Remember any product that has a BSR has sold at least once. Um, so it's just again to kind of gauge like, is there demand out there? Are people actually coming and searching for products here? Um, so we'll give it another second and let's see if it loads up. All right guys, so it just loaded and we can see Stuntman was the search term. There's 107 products online, so not a ton of competition. Remember dogs had 30,000. And about 34 of them, about a third of them have sales on them. They have some kind of BSR and Merchant Form is giving us a really good score here. Uh, again, we can kind of look at some of the designs. We get an idea for this, but we see that there are people selling. There's not a ton of competition from what Merchant Informer is saying. And again, there, there is some demand here. Uh, next, we'll check one more. So let's just look at skydiving really quick. And again, it's gonna take a second to load. All right, so skydiving's loaded and you guys can see again the difference here. So we have the keyword. 253 results, and most of them have sales. Uh, our score is a little bit lower though. There's definitely more competition. We get keywords, kind of the same deal. I just will look through these, but for the sake of time, let's move on to the next step. So once I've kind of validated or found a few of these and I wanna look a little bit further, I'm gonna head over to Amazon. And remember, Amazon is a search platform for products. And the search bar up here normally gives us suggested results, right? So if I were to type in dog, uh, normally we would just get these results. So what I'm doing here is kind of the second tool that I use, which is AMZ Suggestion Expander. It's a free Google Chrome extension. It looks like this. And what it does is it gives us, it kind of broadens out the uh, search results and gives us keywords that would either go before, after, or other. So just incorporated. 
and we can see that there's um, essentially what we're looking for here is we want to find out if there's some cross niching that we can do if we can either niche down or cross multiple different niches so that we can actually differentiate ourselves and find kind of these untapped areas right so we see nothing really here but if we go a little bit further we see uh, let's see dog and cat mom gifts dog and wine so that might be a great one to combine uh, dog and cat, dog and cat Christmas. And let's take it one step further. We'll do dog shirt. And we can see here Christmas dog shirt. Um, we can see dog shirt for boxer. So type of dog, Boston Terrier, etc. So this is a great way to kind of understand if there's uh, maybe some sub niches that we're not seeing on Merchant Former that we can go and then look at a little bit further. And we can also take these. So I could take dog shirt or just the word boxer and come back over to Merchant Former and check that again if I wanted to. Um, but let's look at the examples we have. So we have Sky, or let's check Stuntman first. So if I type in Stuntman, we'll just see. So sometimes there's not a lot of stuff. So, you know, we're just getting the basic results. Let's see if we type in Stuntman shirt. Yep, there's nothing crazy here. So sometimes you'll get this. Uh, let's type in skydiving. Okay, we can see parachute for skydiving, uh, altimer, alt altimeter. I think I said that right. Uh, wingsuits. Okay, here's a great example. So maybe we want to actually look into wingsuits now. So that might be another thing. So I'm going to make a note of that. Uh, so I'm going to say skydiving and wing, wingsuits. All right. And let's look one more time. So we also have indoor skydiving. So that's another one that we might want to look at. Indoor skydiving. All right, cool. Uh, so next week, what we can do on Amazon is obviously search for specific categories. And again, this is going to be kind of, you know, really the process of um, of kind of validating this a little bit further. So I'm going to do, let's do indoor skydiving and just see what comes up. All right, so that's going to load up and then let me put in, I'm just going to come back over here and we're just going to see if anything comes up on Merchant Former. So while that loads, let's do indoor skydiving shirt. And we can see, so this is pulling up about 567 results, but remember this isn't all of the results. Sometimes Amazon will cut it off. So uh, indoor skydiving, so just an uncle that loves or who loves indoor skydiving. So we can start getting ideas here. Uh, we can also start seeing, you know, what other products are out there. And then let's go back and check on here. So indoor skydiving, you guys can see, uh, this is another good one. So we have indoor skydiving, 133 products online. Only five of them though have sales, but not a lot of competition. We might be able to come in here and capitalize on this space. Um, but again, this is kind of helping us niche down. So now we, we went from just having nothing pretty much when we started to now we have stuntman, stunt woman, broken bones, French onion dip, skydiving, wing suits, indoor skydiving, soccer coach. So obviously if I was taking my time here, I would look up all of these. But again, for the sake of this example, we're just gonna stick with you know one or two. So next thing I wanna do is further validate if there's demand for this. So what I'm gonna do is come over to another tool and this is a free one, uh, Sonar. It's an Amazon keyword research tool. And what we can do is either put in a keyword here or we can put in an ASIN. So I can put in skydiving. And this is great because it's gonna tell us other keywords, related keywords that we can look up. Uh, and it's gonna give us a rough idea of demand. Uh, now you have to pay for the premium one. I don't pay for it on here um, to really get an understanding of demand, but let's do something that I know has demand. So let's do, let's actually do dog shirt. And we can see there's a bunch of different results. So dog shirt, dog dad shirt best dog dad shirt ever, dog mom shirt. So now we have all these other ideas right here and we can take these, repeat this process. So we can go back to Amazon, back to Merchant Former and keep going down and down and deeper and deeper uh, until we find that we wanna go into this space, right? So um, we see there's demand in all of that. Now, if you guys do have Helium 10, that's another great way to do this. So I could type in, let's just do um, dog shirt just cause I know there's gonna be a ton of results. And this is an expensive program, it's paid. I actually have this for some of my other Amazon FBA businesses. So I use this because I think it's more accurate. But just to give you guys an idea of what we can do here is I get I type in dog t-shirt or dog shirt and I can see that the monthly search volume is about 34,000. Uh, and then I can get an idea of different um, search volumes for different keywords on here. So it's gonna give me, this is spitting out over 11,000 keywords. 
So I might want to go through and look at these. Let's actually filter these. So we're going to do highest to lowest on uh, search volume. So I see dog sweater, dog clothes. So I'm seeing people are searching for these things. Let's see if we can find anything interesting here. Dog Christmas pajamas, uh, dog hoodie, dog Christmas clothes. So a lot of these are probably actually for dogs, but Christmas dog right now that has about 24,000. Uh, monthly searches. So let's do one more example in Helium and then we will move on to kind of the next step in this process. So let's just do skydiving shirt and let's see what comes up. Uh, might have refreshed. Let's try one more time. All right, guys, so we can see that the search volume is fairly low, only about 80 searches per month for this. Uh, and then we get an idea of, again, related keywords, but there's not a ton in here. A lot of these you can see are not very relevant. Um, so we might not really be able to use this to without going through all these thousand keywords, which we could do. Um, but, you know, we see skydiving gifts. So obviously that's something that we can use in our research process, but this is just to give kind of an idea. And we see that skydiving gifts actually gets a lot more search volume. So I know when I go to build my listing uh, or if I'm trying to research for design work, uh, not to use skydiving shirt necessarily, but maybe we should use skydiving gifts. Uh, so again, I can come back over here, do the same stuff on Amazon uh, and actually check this out and same on Merch Informer. So um, that is kind of the, the research process. So I'm trying to get an idea of if there's search demand, try to find other keywords, and then we can take those back and kind of go back through the process again, find those sub niches. And then we're checking on Amazon. So we're just looking at the other designs here and kind of taking a note as we go, are these designs all right? Or can I come and do better in this space? Um, there's a lot of other tools out there that we could use to validate demand, but that's a great way to start with this process. Okay, now let's say you guys have no idea what to do, or you know, you wanna go off of Amazon for actually doing some of your research. Uh, another great place to kind of get ideas, and this can be used for your design process, is on Pinterest. Uh, so I use Pinterest, Etsy, and Redbubble. So once I have an idea of something, so for example, I just was looking up uh, van life. So one of the things I like to do is take a keyword and actually search the keyword plus bumper sticker on the end because you get a lot of phrases. We can kind of get an idea. So we see live in the van life. So let's go ahead back over here and let's just see if there's a shirt that already has that. I don't know if this is trademarked obviously, but um, you know, maybe we could find a related phrase or make up our own related phrase. So we see van life. There's already shirts that say this. Uh, and I'm not telling you guys to do this. I'm just showing you an example of kind of how I'm doing this research process. Um, so let's look at one of our other ones. So let's look at skydiving. So I'm kind of doing this whole process integrated. I'm kind of thinking about the, the niches, sub niches, validating the markets, see if there's keyword demand on these uh, products in the niches. And then I'm also going ahead and trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for my design process. So uh, let's scroll down here. I heart skydiving. That's a really easy one we could do. Uh, skydiver. Uh, if you at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you, right? So we could take this and think about doing some kind of parody of this or some other phrase related to this, etc. Um, so this is, and you can do this process on Etsy, on Redbubble, etc. But this is going to kind of help jumpstart that next part, which is actually doing your design research. Now this video was supposed to be all about um, actually finding niches and finding interesting stuff. So I'm going to show you guys two more things that are going to be super, super helpful. Uh, and these are a little bit more, while well, the first one's a little bit more experimental. So if we come over to this website, explodingtopics.com, this is using Google's search uh, metrics to actually find topics that are blowing up or trending right now. So I use this if I'm really trying to get a trend ahead of time before it even has landed maybe on Amazon or it's just kind of starting to take off. And this is pulling the search volume estimates on Google over time. Uh, so we can look at five years. This is free by the way. So I love using this. We can use one month. So if I wanted to see one month, let's look, we can see, I don't even know what the, a lot of times I don't know what this stuff is, but okay, neuroeducation. I have no idea what that is. So that might be something I wanna say, hmm, interesting. People are searching for this off of Amazon. So there's probably gonna be people that are gonna start searching for this on Amazon. So let's look at neuroeducation shirt. And I can see there's actually, there's only 60 results pulling up. 
And a lot of these designs are really bad. So guys, this right here, I might wanna come in and look at this. So if we go back, we can actually go over and let's do a, um, let's go to Merch Hunter. And we're just gonna take a look. So again, we're kind of doubling back on this process. We go check in the keyword cloud so we can try to find if there's related keywords, et cetera. And again, I don't know if this has any sort of trademark on it, so that's a whole nother video. Um, but I'm just trying to give you guys ideas of how I am going about this process. So there's no products even coming up yet. Um, so let's look at one more example here. So lo-fi music, drop servicing, dog probiotics. Obviously, it's not really for us right now. Um, upskill, massage gun, that could be an interesting one. Drunk elephant, I don't really know exactly what that is, but um, let's see, wave, cash app, et cetera. So a lot of times these aren't necessarily super applicable, um, but sometimes they are. So maybe, I don't know, regenerative ag agriculture. That's a tough one to say, but that could be something I wanna look at. So let's try one more. I'm gonna go over the last one year. So let's see if there's anything interesting here. A micro wedding, okay, again, another really interesting one. All right, so I don't even see anything in this space. So it might be worth coming in here and just putting up three, four, five designs just so that we have something on there. Ergonomic chair, okay. Uh, we'll see if there is one more maybe we can look at. Power dash, living wall. Okay, that could be an interesting one. So let's just look this one up, wall, shirt. So again, I don't see anything. I don't think this one's gonna have a ton of design, but guys, the point with these is again, just trying to jumpstart that. If we can catch trends when they're happening off of Amazon, uh, obviously they're probably gonna get carried over to Amazon. So this is a really useful tool and one I don't hear a lot of people talking about, um, but don't rely just on you know Merch Informer and some of the Amazon specific tools. It's always a good idea to look at other places like Instagram and see what's just trending in different areas, Reddit, whatever it may be. So. That's kind of the one of my secret tools that I use. Now, the final thing um, is something I've done for you guys just to help you out. So on my blog, I've actually published a uh, list of e-commerce trends. So if you come over to my blog and I'll put a link to it down below, um, but this post right here, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, I've actually compiled a list of uh, tons of different places to kind of get started. Now, these are not all gonna be directly related to um, you know niches on Amazon, but it's a really good place to kind of get an idea for what's in here. So if you guys, you can download this for free, but we can come in here and we can see all kinds of different stuff. So let me just scroll in and you guys can see I've kind of broken this down by uh, a primary category and then subcategories. So for example, arts and crafts, you can see cross stitching, uh, crocheting, embroidery, knitting. Uh, I don't even know how to say this one, needlepoint, rug making, et cetera. These are all things we might be able to look into, automotive and vehicles. So I have compiled hundreds of these in here and I will reference this a lot. Guys, go over to my blog, download this, it's free. You don't even need to put your email in, just something that hopefully will help you guys out. Um, but we can see there's all kinds of stuff in here to kind of give us an idea of something to start on. So we have stamps, antiques, coin collecting. Uh, some of these might not work, like smart home, you know, might not, but again, use this, you know, however you guys want. Um, it's just gonna kind of give you a place to jumpstart your research. So with that being said, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, if there's any other strategies that you guys use. But really what I'm doing is starting my process by kind of getting some idea of what I wanna enter into. And this is really the first step in everything with Merch by Amazon or Print on Demand. So we're essentially, we're going first to Merch Informer. We're kind of trying to find and jumpstart some of this research. Then we're gonna to go to Amazon, see if we can find any of those cross niches using that AMZ suggestion expander. Then we're gonna look on either Sonar or Helium 10 to try to find more keywords that we then can go back to Amazon or Merch Informer and look at. And then we can go to Pinterest if we wanna get an idea of what else is out there, what kind of phrases. Uh, and finally, the last two are going to exploding topics to catch some really early stage trends or stuff that's happening off Amazon. And finally, my blog with that comprehensive list uh, down here at the bottom. So you guys can download that for free. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. And that is it for this video. Let me know in the comments if this was useful, if I missed anything, or if there's anything else that you guys want me to go over in my next videos. But with that being said, that's it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.